Hey, what's up everyone? In White Rooms here with a new Top Shop video. Uh, today there was a new pack drop, this uh, Throwdown set, uh, which is a rare set. Uh, it's one of the bigger rare sets. In fact, I think it is the, the biggest rare set um, to date. Uh, there are, what was it, 75,000 packs in this drop. Um, I ended up around 80,000 in the queue and was still able to get one, so enough people dropped out um, to make that possible, I guess. Uh, speculating here, but the I think the reason that people were dropping out is because th there's not a guaranteed profit on this pack. Um, it's the first time in quite a while that that's happened on Top Shot. Uh, I'll pull this up here. Uh, I have the current results. Uh, I'm recording this, I don't know, three or four hours after the marketplace opened um, from today's pack drop, and yeah, look at the prices. So this was a $150 pack. Um, I've been watching it casually for the past hour or so. I saw prices as low as $60 for some of these. Uh, it since has risen a bit, um, like here we've got this at 78 a few at 79 uh, looks like quite a few are uh, hanging out around the $80 range um, which is definitely unprecedented for any rare moments uh, the previous low I think when I looked over the weekend um, some of the rising stars of the the lesser players were sitting around 120 maybe so this is quite the drop um, comparatively but you know it was kind of expected because this is a bigger set uh, the rares are still they're out of 1800 and it, it's got a bunch of players that you know aren't really top tier guys um, nothing against them they are good players they have to be to be in the NBA um, but that's not not stud heavy that's for sure. Uh, so here we are, we're still like, as I'm scrolling, we're still in the, the low hundreds. Um, pretty much, there are only a few real highlights here in terms of uh, monetary value. Uh, basically, it comes down to this Anthony Edwards. Uh, this one has been creeping up all night. I saw it at 300 to start. Um, I wish I had snagged one or two then because it's already up to 443 it'll probably go up a little bit more um, if I were to guess you know at least in the short term I could see it hitting 500 maybe a little bit higher um, behind that there's a Scion which sat around 300 uh, for most of the night while I was watching now that's up to 349 uh, after that there's a pretty big drop off this this John Moran is at 244 uh, and then we start to get below 200 we've got the Russell Westbrook which I'm sure the only reason that's creeping up right now is because uh, he's been on an absolute tear uh, triple double machine again putting up just absurd numbers every night uh, and then we've got the, the Kawhi Leonard Joel Embiid uh, it is kind of nice to see Miles Bridges as one of the the more higher priced ones, I mean, it still would be breaking even basically if you if you pull that one. But uh, it's cool to see because he's just a dunk machine, and this is the kind of set that is made for a player like Miles Bridges. Um, because this is a throwdown set, it's all about the best dunks of the year. Um, so he's this is perfect for him. So yeah, I mean, just looking at this. Uh, it's kind of kind of an under, underwhelming set. It's a fun theme. I do like that it's all dunks uh, because, in my opinion, those are usually the best plays uh, that are the plays that make for the best moments on Top Shot. Um, so it's a little bit of a bummer that prices are definitely down uh, if you were to try to sell right away. Anyway, um, you probably chances are not going to get your money back. Um, on the plus side, though, there are going to be challenges for th 
this this set. Um, if we can look right now, I'll pull it up uh, before I open this pack. So there's this throwdown challenge, which uh, requires nine moments to get the reward, which is this Blake Griffin dunk. Um, I saw earlier that some of the other rewards have been minted or have been listed. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, here we go, challenge one. It looks like most, if not all, of these moments will be involved in a challenge at some point. So uh, you should be able to at least, if you pull one of these uh, moments that's selling for $80 or less, I would imagine the price creeps up a little bit if the challenge is people get into the challenge. Um, I don't remember who the rewards are. I think it was kind of an underwhelming lineup. Um, so I guess there's no guarantee that the prices go up that much. But I definitely, if you manage to get one and you're, and you're wondering what to do, I would not just sell it immediately. I would wait until it's part of a challenge if you really want to get rid of it. Uh, because then you will maximize your value. So that's my quick thoughts on that. Uh, let's just go ahead and rip this pack and see what we get. Hopefully we get uh, get an Anthony Edwards. I'm going to turn on the music for this one. I think with the uh, the hustle and flow, I, I had it muted and they actually had uh, a different kind of track for it. So let me turn up the music here. Give it a try.
I'll give him props. That's a nice play. Yeah, he was pumped up after that one. Twelve oh three. Something two. All right, before that keeps looping. Uh, yeah, we got uh, got hyped up a little bit, thinking that was a Zion, but no dice. Uh, let's see, was that Jackson Hayes? It's not part of a challenge. I, I was uh, the reason there was one out of nine is because I was scoping out some deals on, on the marketplace. I found a couple things, but most of my most of my purchases didn't go through. Everyone else is trying to do the same thing. Um, so Jackson Hayes, I think he was on the lower end uh, of that set. We might as well take a look. Uh, marketplace. Let's look at the, uh, just type in Jackson Hayes. See what we get. He's at $82 right now. So yeah, he's pretty much this this particular moment's on the lower end. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for it being used in a challenge if I want to end up selling it. Um, I don't really. I'm not eager to sell this at a loss. So um, I'll probably just you know keep it for the collector score anyway, uh, which is a new addition in the last week um, since my last video. Basically. The more moments you collect, the higher collector score is. Um, rare moments get more points. Legendaries get the most points, of course. So um, the fact that I'm sitting on a, a hollow icon legendary has got my score pretty pumped up. So I feel like I'll be in pretty good shape for any future pack drops. But you know, the more the merrier. It doesn't hurt to have another rare. Uh, I still have the MGLE of that Kendrick Nunn that I pulled in a previous video too, so. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, it's going to be a while before that creeps up to triple digits if it ever does, so. Uh, yeah, kind of uh, definitely an underwhelming rare moment to get, but uh, still fun to rip that pack have to give give them credit for that. I, I do think it is a fun set, even if the the monetary value isn't there at the moment, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, that, that was my throwdown rare pack. Uh, yeah, if you opened one up, um, I'd love to know what you got. Hopefully you had better luck than me. Uh, Especially if you manage to snag a, an Anthony Edwards. Uh, let's just, I'm curious because everything is spiking up. Let's take a look uh, before I sign off of here, see what it's up to now. It's actually went down since I started this video. What did I say, like 443 or something? It's at 410. So, um, yeah, you can't really take anything for granted on Top Shot. Even his Hollow Icon, 6500. His cards have went down quite a bit. Sorry, his moments. I remember this Edwards um, out of 4,000, his very first moment was selling for over $2,000 for a while. And here it is at 600. It's just uh, pretty crazy times. Uh, hopefully things pick back up soon. I think it's going to remain stagnant for a little while. Um, you know, maybe there will be a playoff boost. There probably will be for players that are performing well in the playoffs, but uh, I would expect things to slow down a bit through the off season. But I think next season at the beginning, it should be pretty explosive. Uh, hopefully by then we'll be out of beta. <laughs> so see that in the, the header here. Um, and hopefully the marketing will get turned on uh, by next season too. So... You know, still a lot of uh, Top Shot is a very promising future. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to. That's all for now. Uh, good luck if you have a pack, haven't opened it yet, or trying to snipe out some deals on the marketplace. Uh, until next time.